I woke up this morning and I thought, it's been a fair while since we've done a tarantula feeding video here on Bug Realms. So let's get it done. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So yes, it is feeding day here for the tarantulas at Bug Realms. And as I said previously, I haven't done a feeding video here in a while. And to be honest, I don't get much excitement out of recording my feeding days, if I'm honest with you guys. I, I love to actually watch it through my own eyes, not through the lens or screen of a camera. I like to just get it done and enjoy my inverts. But as a content creator, I've got to provide you with something, right? And it's been a fair while. So I'm just going to freehand the camera with this one, guys. No fancy camera work. Let's get it done. Okay, so here is my Harpacteria polcrops, the golden blue leg babine. Ah, that was a cute little takedown. Oh, we got a little happy dance and a bit of roach cuts. Cheers, then. Next up. We have our beautiful little Amelia. Another cutie little takedown from this one. I can't wait for this one's colours to pump. Truly amazing species. All right, let's move on. So, one of the most common and lovely species, the Brachypelma homori. There we have it. Again, another one I can't wait to grow. Rather plump at the moment. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, all right, no fat shame in the homori. Okay, let's see which one's next. And this is my little curly hair, the Tiltacatl albopolosus. For anyone confused, it is albopolosus now, not albopolossum. Let's see if it's hungry. Oh. I think I just missed that on the camera. I'll have to check that in the editing process. Ah, oh, but look at it. Now, this is a true form, not a hobby form. Now, I actually believe this one was a gift a long, long time ago as a one centimetre from Dave from House of Bugs. Absolutely adore this little tea. Let's see who's next. Oh, this is a nice surprise. This is our Ceratogyrus meridionalis. He lives in our castle there, normally underground. This one didn't feed last time, so fingers crossed. Oops. Well, that was a little bit of a fail, wasn't it? I'm going to keep this clip in though, guys, because we do not see this tea very often. Beautiful baboon species. I will have to rehome it soon so it can have a deeper substrate, but at the moment it's still doing fine at its current size. Right, I'm going to take that roach out and we'll move on. This little sling is actually a Brachypelma albiceps and was a gift to me from Princess Sophie Pink. Uh, this one molted a few weeks ago, let's hope it's hungry. Doesn't look like it. Shame. Again, I'm going to keep this clip in though, guys, because Princess Sophie Pink hasn't been able to witness this. Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh, we are definitely keeping it in then. Oh, I was going to say, she hasn't been able to witness this Albacep since its last molt. Wicked. Alright, this one needs its water dish doing, and then we'll move on. This is my Pamphobetus mashala. You can see it's actually got quite a big booty at the moment. Ah, quite gentle. This one's normally very vigorous, but it does have a very big bum. Beautiful markings, absolutely beautiful. Can't wait for this one to grow. Let's see what's next. Now, I doubt this one will feed, but it's very rarely out of its burrow. This is my Bumba Kabokla. So even if we don't get a takedown, I want to show you this tea because normally when I move this lid, it darts away. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Yep, there we go. See what happens though. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was not prepared for it to go so fast. But there we have it anyway. You got to witness that beautiful tarantula. This is my Davis Pentalorus. Oh, I didn't even see that happen then. Stunning tarantula. A must-have for everybody's collection, in my opinion. Very, very quick mind. Very quick. Even when they get bigger, they seem to just get faster. But beautiful species. Let me try and pull back the lid a bit more so you can see the true colours. There we are. Is that not truly an amazing looking tarantula? This one at a bit of a funny angle is my D. diamantiensis. Another true stunning spider. There we have it. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> See you then. Oh, it's been so long since I've done a feeding video. Right, who's next? In this beautiful webbing is my sexed female GBB, a gift from Sidex Invert Kingdom. Hmm. I think I spooked this one a bit when I moved the enclosure. Normally always eats. I actually reckon this one will come back for its food. Let me try one more time. Okay, I've got the same roach. No, I don't think we're going to get a takedown. I think she's a bit spooked, ladies and gentlemen. The side angle, just so you can see the beauty of this tarantula. A gift I will never forget. This is my G. Portery Bruce. Although it's suspected a female, it's still called Bruce. So gentle. So these have uh, very different temperaments. Among specimens, this one can be a little skittish when I move the enclosure, but it's actually very, very docile tarantula. It was held a lot by its previous owners. Um, I don't handle Bruce, but yeah, stunning G portery. Sorry, the uh, takedown wasn't that good for my camera angle, but I'm out of practice. Let's move on then. Down in these murky depths is my Therophosa Sturmy. Oh no! That's not what I meant to happen. I did not mean to drop the roach. Ah. Sorry about that, guys. I meant to hold on to it by the entrance there. Thoroughly disappointed. We're going to leave it in anyway. Uh, sex female, this stammy. Which I was over the moon about. Damn. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Let's move on. Oh, and this little head poking out here is of my NNC. There we go. This was a gift from Scott's Inverts. So if you're watching this, Scott, here is your NNC that you've given to me. Doing amazing. Whoops. Look at the colours. Truly beautiful spider, right? Thanks, Scott. In here is my P. Sazamai. I dropped it again. Hopefully he can do a little takedown for us. Now oh, into the murky depths. Oh, oh. He took it. Hmm. Bit of a fail, I'm afraid, again. Bugman Sam has lost his touch. Keeping the lid on for this one, this is my A-Gen. And uh, when spooked, does do a runner. Oh, she actually got it. This is a sex female. Yep, yeah, there she goes, into her fangs. Nom, nom, nom. Pretty gal, right? Let's see who else is hungry. Yeah, this one here is my male LP. Look at the size of him. He is gigantic. Now, this one didn't take to a feed. I tried to do it on a previous recording, which I've now deleted. But 
Just thought you guys might want to see him. Big boy. So, the last feed of today is my Therophosa apothesis or apothesis. I'm literally going to try and launch this hisser. Okay. You can tell me the final feed of the day is going to be a boring one. Normally all go this one. That hisser's not looking too good. Hmm. Maybe I should remove that. Perhaps we could try a worm. Trust me to find the half dead hisser, right? Ready? This is not going well for me. The most gentle takedown from the giant of the realm. Can you believe it? Wow. This one is a big one, guys. Oh, I think I'll take that hisser out later. Look at it. In all of its glory. One of my favourites. Not the favourite, but one of them. Probably the pride of my collection, this one. I think it was at the last BTS I bought it. Hasn't molted in my care yet. Wow. Okay. I will get you out a little bit later. So folks, I'm sorry that uh, these clips might not have been as epic as some of the others doing feeding clips, but uh, I am rather rusty at filming them, I must say. If you would like to see more feeding clips from me, let me know. I just try and spice things up a little rather than tarantula feeding video after tarantula feeding video. I like to give you guys a variety. If you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. That's going to be it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.